We're going to start off with the Bible. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible says that there is no name given amongst men under heaven by which we can be saved except for the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and the wages of sin are death. But the gift of God is eternal life. The Bible says that the wages of sin are death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. I don't care what you're doing. I do not care what you're doing. That's what I'm saying. When you get on an airplane, do you tell somebody how to fly? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you, when you get on a bus, do you tell them how to drive the bus? Don't tell me how to preach. You are this. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. This is what you want. Amen, amen, amen. I'm just saying. Amen. Yeah, okay. I'm going to confess to my sins. I get pussy. Can I confess to that? Oh, I like that. Oh, my God. Fuck yeah. I wasn't expecting that, that was a good one. Amen. Amen. Okay, so tell me how I should preach the gospel. Well, I, I don't think the gospel should be limited. I, I think that What do you mean by limited? Meaning that when people come up to you and they and maybe they they don't really know, you know, what your role is. And they just want to come over here and they want to have a conversation with you and they say, well, I want to confess. I didn't know that he was joking in the first place. I did. It's this... called the sermon. It's called the sermon. Right, but it's not good to assume. No, it's what a... if... no the sermon. The sermon. Sir sir it's called intuition. Do you have it's intuition? intuition? I'd say that I have intuition. Okay, but how come you didn't know that that group was full of crap and I did? I, 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 I got the sermon. That's what I'm trying to say. the sermon, I That's know, okay. but... It doesn't make any sense. It does, because look, if someone's not going to hear the gospel, why preach it to them? If someone just wants to say, I love Paul's vagina, and I don't Even if they don't believe in the gospel, if you're arguing as a Christian, it's still good to expose it to them. No. Really? Yeah, really. The Bible says, the Bible says, don't cast your pearls before swine. If they, if, 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 if he wants to talk about vagina, he definitely doesn't want to hear the gospel. He was here this whole time. I've been preaching the gospel for hours. And he was here this whole time. If you were condemning them, then you would simply ignore them. But you had to say, I'm not a priest. I'm I not. don't want to hear it. I'm not. I know. But what if they don't know how it works? That's all I'm arguing. Oh, yeah. They should go Try read a book. Try to be more open. They should go read a book. He told them. They should go read a book. Yeah. It's not, it's not, I'm not out here to educate everyone about religion. I'm out here to tell you about Christ Jesus, who is bigger than religion. Yeah. It's about a relationship. Having okay. a relationship with God all right. through Christ Jesus. So, and you know, and, and there's a season for everything. So maybe that guy today um, doesn't want to hear about Christ. I'm here, I'm out here a lot. And maybe next time he want to hear, but today is, is not for him. Okay. Uh, I just, uh, I think I just have one last question for you. Uh, how many people have you saved today? I don't save anybody. Okay, but how many people have you helped bring to Christ? Oh, a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Okay. Where are you? That's all it is. What do you mean we're I don't know. They're, they're doing the thing. I, I, I hope they're still serving Christ. Someone I know, but that wants to hear. Um, doesn't it say in the Bible that it, it doesn't say that you can't preach the gospel on the street? But doesn't it say that it's a bad form of spreading the gospel? Doesn't it say that people who openly profess their faith on the streets um, are, it just it says something that it's like it's bad. Did Jesus openly profess yourself on the streets? It's says, not my prayer. Did, 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 did Jesus openly profess? Shouting. Did Jesus openly profess his faith? Loud public prayer. Wait, did, did, did Jesus, did Jesus just openly profess his faith? Jesus openly professed his face, so but he, he was a prophet. You're not a prophet. He was a prophet. He was a son of God. Son of God, of God or a, so only he was son considered of God. a prophet. He was considered a teacher. What about Peter? What about prophet. Peter? Again, these people are prophets. Show me where it says Peter's a prophet. Okay, I, listen, I'm not an expert on the New Testament. Well, then why are you, why are you trying to tell me what, what it says? Then if you're not I'm not trying to say what it says. I just remember there's a specific verse in the Bible where it says, Don't pray on the street. Be careful. Yeah, don't chant on the streets. Yes. I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm preaching. Preaching. Well, it doesn't say for instance. Uh, he also says nobody goes to the Father but to me. Hey, my brother, look at me. Look at my eyes. Nobody goes to the Father. Why, you're, to me. Why, why are you atheist, bro? Like, what happened to make you become How about atheist? that? How can you look at this you beautiful world and say there is no God? I would honestly. I'll, 
it's not about hate at all. There are some Christians and even Muslims that I despise, people that persecute others. I would say the only reason why I would consider myself an atheist is because I realize that religion controls people. Give me it's example, a form of dogma. Well, the Catholic Church, for example, um, even in Canada before the 1960s, before the sexual revolution, um, we were predominantly Christian. We still are. Uh, I think we are. So I just think the only reason why I consider my th myself an atheist is because. I just don't see there's enough proof to suggest that there's an omniscient and omnipotent God that so creates everything, standard proof? let alone a God that has a, that had a fully developed ego that created the world 6,000 years ago. It, it, it's hard for me to believe that. What's your standard for uh, evidence? My standard for evidence, I would say, this is kind of hard to, uh, I would say that my standard of evidence is, I don't know all the answers. But I'm not gonna fall to some dogma just because I don't know all the answers. What do you think about Jesus? Just, just from what you heard, from, from, what I've heard, from your understanding, what do you think about Jesus? From my understanding of Jesus, he was a teacher in the New Testament um, that created a the Old Testament. There was no New Testament. Let the man talk. Let the man talk. Let the man talk. I don't want to have a full argument with you because you're obviously more knowledgeable about the Bible. I'm just asking you a question. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to bash you with my knowledge. No, no, no. That's fine. Okay. I would say that Book of Daniel is the Holy One. Let him talk, bro. Let him talk. You know when the Daniel was burning in furnace? Jesus is referred to in the Old Testament. When Daniel was burning in furnace, fire. That's fine. Three men was burning. The fourth one was Jesus. I would say that Jesus was. He was a teacher. Oh my no, lord, they don't see you. I know that there are some even atheist professors who suggest that he did exist. Do you I'm not believe necessarily he exists? Sure. Suggest. I've seen conflicting okay, evidence to say that he exists and he doesn't exist. So I'm not necessarily sure. Maybe he did exist. Let us create man on our image. Maybe there were a lot of people that were like prophets. I understand. I know where you're going to go. You're going to say that Jesus was different because he, created your he came image. back from life. No, no, I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying, I know. what do you think? Because look, so this, this I, I agree with you, bro. Religion is whack. Religion is God's religion. I think that religion 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 is religion is yeah, right? dangerous and it's persecuted. No, no, no. What do you think about just, just Jesus? Just Jesus. His character. I like what Jesus says. Amen. So don't I you like think what Jesus if, if we all follow, just say if we all acted like Jesus, wouldn't the world if, be better if, if I were to meet, if I were to meet Jesus, I would respect him as a teacher. Jesus says you're free. And that would specific you, teaching, you, uh, I wouldn't to see him as a God. Uh -huh. I know, would you listen to his teachings and consider making them part of your life and living like that? I would, no, not all of his teachings. But what, which ones do you disagree with? Turn the other I would cheek, argue, bro. no, I, I don't argue, I don't agree with turning the other cheek. You know when he says turn the other cheek? I'm trying to have a conversation with him. Yeah. It's kind of respect hard. the man, man. Are you intoxicated or like what's going on? Here? I'm just asking you, would you turn the other chair? Yeah, we're okay, that's fine. Listen, I know you're not gonna change my mind. I know I'm not gonna change your mind, so let's just at least have a conversation. Hey, man. That's good, good fine. Idea. Good idea. Okay. okay. So sorry, what was your question? Yeah, so again? just just so what you said that you disagree well, you don't with, agree with with disagree with some of Jesus. I would disagree with I think specifically when he says in the Bible or in the New Testament, he didn't come to change the law. He came to fulfill it, meaning that all of the Old Testament laws are still in place. We have to follow them. For example, adultery, homosexuality, all of those things are still condemned in the Bible. And there are some people here that would argue that Christianity, or there's a lot of affirming Christians. I wouldn't agree with that. I would argue that the Bible is inherently homophobic and inherently sexist. Now, the only thing that I would really disagree with Jesus is when he, again, when he says that he didn't come to change the law and that he only came to fulfill it, meaning we still have to follow that. Amen. That's just what I don't agree with. Amen. Yeah, well, you know, you know what that means? It, it actually does mean it, it actually does mean that he fulfilled it. The Bible says that all these things will not pass away until all is fulfilled, right? So yeah. actually, what he did, what he did is he fulfilled it, and by fulfilling it, so he showed that? us how to live the law. I'm coming down right now. I'm sorry. I'm just busy right now. I'm just busy right now. I'm gonna... What do, you, what do you mean by fulfill is he just showed us the spirit of the law because the sincerities and the, the sincerities and the sacerdotes were living by the, the letter of the law. So what they argue though that most of the Old Testament laws are still put in place. No, actually they were given to the Israelites. I'm not they were given to the Israelites. In a, in a, in a certain many... time, in a certain context, in a certain time place, and sorry, I, sorry, one second. Yeah, in Israel. Talk to this guy. So the um, 
So the laws, right? So just like in the Old Testament, you couldn't eat pork. And then mix fabrics. Yeah. You need some, in the New Testament, so Old Testament means Old Covenant. New Testament means, means New Covenant. We have a New Covenant written in the blood of Christ. That's why He died, and, and He still the covenant in His blood. So under the New Covenant, those those laws are done away with in in the sense that we follow them by the Spirit and not by the letter. You understand? So the Spirit of the law is don't work on. It's not legalism. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, so right now we're not supposed because if, if we went that's by that, it, that's we're not supposed to throw homosexuals. We're not supposed to work. That, that's, that's, that, that's, that was given to Jewish people I know, at that time in that context. But historically, Christians have persecuted homosexuals. I know it's not just Christians. Yeah. It's Muslims. Have it's you know, all it's religions. Every it was even the law. The law discriminated against homosexuals and transgenders in Canada. No, All that's I'm science, saying, dude. That's not the but, you know, science. Every single, what do you mean that's science? Science. There's no science. Because there's no reality yeah, calls to back up. Yeah. There is no scientific Actually, reality. No, there's no such thing as transgender. Just because it's not there is no evidence right now that so now there is a gene, that's there that's actually that's is. That's that's there's no there is there's a measure. There's what? 68 recognized genders between hormone imbalances. Technically, transgender women are born with a woman's brain. Men and women's brain are different. We have different. The left side of our brain is bigger than the right side of her brain. If you are a transgender with a woman's brain. If you are a transgender woman, you are born with a woman's brain. If you are a transgender man, you are born with a transgender brain. And this idea, how many brains can you be born with? When do you think the concept of 62 genders came about? I didn't hear what you said. Because you only can be born with a man. If you go through the biology, the yeah. hormones, the um, chemicals in the brain, there are 68 recognized so genders. So then how come you can't be born with 68 different brains? You can. Okay, so because some, some there's a distinction between sex and so, so there's people born with 68 different brains. And people think that this is just a new idea that there are somehow six... When do you think the idea of 68 genders came about? Or just the idea that it there are more... It comes out the mind of a, of a crazy person, bro. The science came out back in the 70s. Crazy, no, it came before that. It came in the 1800s by a German sex by the name of Meg this person. Who? Was he transgender? He's not transgender. Who was he? What's the point of saying that? Because he's biased. Bias. We all have biases, bro. Every single I human being was... here has a bias. Hands was... down. We're born was... with biases. That, that, that's, okay, that's, he, was that's a, he was a sexologist and he was a sociologist. Okay, so a sexologist and sociologist We're say that there's no such biology, thing. We're not talking about biology, I'm saying that there is a distinction between sex and gender. What's the okay. distinction? And that this, I, the distinction is, for example, you know, the clothing that you wear, if it's feminine, is it, if, it's, if it's masculine, certain assigned gender roles in society as well. So, I know we've become more progressive as a society, but historically, men and women were different. And I would actually make the argument so that even different. in the 1950s, no, I'm saying that there's a difference between your biological sex and your gender identity. Okay, and I would make the argument that's that, book. that's your opinion. It's not an opinion. There's no journal that says that. Yes, dude. there is. Yeah, Magnus Hirschman. Look it up. I'm not all saying the gay it's ones. Bad. And where are all the you ones that listen, disprove bro. homosexuality? The Christian ones. Hello. No, so if we want to argue about bias, I'd say that your side is biased as well. Normal science. I'm talking about normal science, bro. <laughs> normal books. This Look guy is angry that gay sexologists in the 1800s and the early 1900s in Germany were biased. I read a book from five days ago and asked the actual doctor, okay? The actual Johns doctor. Hopkins University. The actual doctor says that there is a difference between your gender identity and your biological sex. And it also talks about... Transgenderism is not a scientific thing. Yes, it is a scientific thing. Have you heard of what gender dysphoria is? Okay, but that's not it's a mental illness. Oh, no, gender dysphoria is actually a mental illness. Gender dysphoria is a psychological condition. What up, bro? You good, fam? Are you still fucking girls? Yeah, yeah, still. Gender dysphoria. Girls only, sorry. Gender dysphoria. I will concede it's a psychological condition. Yeah. But what about transgenders who do not have dysphoria? That have gender incongruence? I don't know. Let me ask you a question. Do you don't have a mental illness. Let me ask you a question. Do you think it's healthy to cut off two, health, two boobs, two healthy pair of boobs? Okay, so if we're arguing on the basis of what's healthy? natural, that's do, a logical I'm just, I'm just asking you a question. Do you think it's healthy to cut off two perfectly working boobs and and to invert a, a penis into a ball? I think should be free to do what they want with their Do you think it's healthy? Do you think it's healthy? I haven't seen think it's I don't think it's unhealthy. I don't think it's 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 good or bad. I think it's just what people what feel comfortable says. about doing. Okay. If I cut off my finger for no apparent reason, is that good or, or bad? That's up to you. It's your own body. 
If I cut off my tongue, is it good or bad? You're talking about people, people who are doing whatever I want with my body. Exactly. People that are, that there are actually people that believe that they should be in wheelchairs and that they're amputees. Yeah. They're a very, very, very small minority. They're smaller than transgenders. Less than 1% of the population, I'd say that's considerably small. But it's not like the people that want to be in wheelchairs. Yeah. That's a very, very, very small no, minority of people. Micro, dude. And, you know, and what about the psychologists that people say can do it's better? They want, but that doesn't make it healthy, that doesn't make it right. We live in Wheelchairs. You, you can do whatever you want. Wait, why are you true. judging everyone? Okay. Okay. I'm not. Let's, 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 I'm saying people should be able to do whatever they want, but that don't mean everything that people right. do are good. Right. Or bad. There, there is a good and bad. Okay. Just because you could, just like right now, I can do whatever I want, but not everything is um, expedient, not everything is healthy, not everything is good. That's you can smoke a cigarette, that doesn't mean it's yeah, good to smoke a cigarette. Smoke a cigarette. Don't it's good better? for your lungs, right? You can do whatever you want. And I, I'm a total advocate for everyone being able to live the life that they want to live. But that doesn't mean... Yeah, see, yeah. Okay. It is. I just, I just, I just, I just, I can also choose to say it's wrong. But I would, like I say, if I made the laws, I just, if I made the laws, I wouldn't stop you. I wouldn't make laws to stop you from being who you are. Okay. But so, I would disagree with who you are and I would preach against you. That's fine. That's the difference. I, I honestly can care less about your religion. I just came here to have a conversation with you. I'm not no, I care about my Okay, that's fine. I want you to know Jesus. I just want to... Jesus loves you. Okay. And he died for your sins. I would want... He loved you so much that he died for your sins. Are you going to... But I'm making the argument that transphobia and homophobia and biphobia exist. Dude, it's not what about, yes. what about Christophobia? It's not a phobia. Okay, well, Christophobia. What do you mean it's not a thing? Because you're not legally persecuted. Oh my, oh my God. I just got arrested. I just got arrested two days ago. You got arrested for disturbing the peace and instigating. No, you didn't see the gospel. So preaching the gospel is instigating. I know all about you people, David Lane. What do you mean you people? People. Yes, straight creatures. Oh, okay. Yes. You guys there are studies. Do transgender people stuff. love themselves? Stop we gotta do a live stream. Uh, okay, that's a generalization. I'm sure some love no. themselves. I'm sure some don't. If you love yourself, why would you love yourself? Blood job. 2011 Swedish study. It's free readily. If, 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 if you love yourself, if you love yourself, it's not. It's not. If you love yourself, why do you want to change who you are? If I love myself, why do you want to change who you are? If you love yourself, there why would you want to change who you are? That's like me saying I love myself, but I want, to, I want to be a white person, so I'm going to put no, 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 it's so I would argue that there's a difference between loving your inner self, your, your, you could argue your soul, just to get to you so you can understand it, and then also looking in the mirror and seeing body parts that don't align with how you feel on the inside. Yeah. We can argue exactly. about dysphoria, we can argue about, you know, the difference the differences between that and incongruence. But what I'm arguing is that for some trans people, transitioning is their only choice. No, that's not true. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a cop That's not true. That's not that's a cop That's what they're teaching. Jesus Most the trans Jesus people, Jesus they, they feel them. happier. Yeah. They feel more than they need God. Because they, 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 they need Jesus. It's either, listen, I'm going to say it one more time. For that, most, that's what they talk about. That's, 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 that's what they talk about. That's what they talk about. That's what they talk about. Can Jesus change people? I don't believe in the concept of a God changing people. I would argue that, again, transitioning helps people that have disorder. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Because they still kill themselves. But I just proved you If that were true, they would still kill themselves. He keeps saying that transgender is not studied. Can I make you kill yourself? You can, can, can I make you kill yourself? Not you specifically, but a bunch Look of people. Look up the 2011 Swedish study. It disproves the claim that transgenders kill themselves. Sam, what do you respect them, bro? You've been talking for hours, bro. Sorry, my bad. They're not true. The words you are saying aren't true, but it can convince people that it is, and it can convince people that it is. Give me an example. What? Give me an example so I understand what you're saying, sorry. Okay, so if you tell someone that what they're doing is wrong and what they're doing is bad over and over and over and over again, then that's eventually going to get engraved in their mind, even though it isn't true. It's and bullshit. Gonna, that's not true. Wait, and they're going to kill themselves? It's bullshit. It can cause them to hate themselves too. So if, if I come out and preach the gospel every single day and people tell me, you're a hater, blah, 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 eventually I'm going to kill myself? It's, no, it's what it represents. Because I'm secure in who I am. I don't, you we're know what I mean? We're not yelling at the person who you are. We're yelling at the things you're saying and the fucking hate you're spreading. Listen, this is who I am though. But you gotta understand, who I am is, my identity is wrapped up in God. So when you say, oh, God isn't real, and God is whack, and, and you're hateful, when you're actually attacking who I am. Yeah, people say, I, people say that I preach hate. 
Uh, I don't say I don't hate anybody, so so that's I know that's a lot. Maybe I have no hate for anybody, so I know that's a lot. Though, you're you're saying, dog whistling right now. Why? 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 And what I say? Explain to me why? Why? Why would I say anything true to them? Like hateful. The reason why? Here's the reason. Do you explain? Explain to me why? What I say is hateful and make me under. I want. I want you to. I want. I want to understand your point of view. I'm not asking you this so I can come up with a dope answer. Just explain to me why what I say is hateful so maybe I can be better next time I preach. You're Seriously. saying that a certain person is wrong, that yeah. a certain person is bad, that's hate. That's okay, what if I'm saying everybody is bad, even myself? You aren't saying that. I am. The Bible says we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and we need Jesus Christ. So the only, only, only thing different between me and you is I've accepted Jesus Christ and I believe I'm forgiven for my sins. My wife, at our first pride parade, what did you think about the pride parade, babe? He preached. I'm here with my brother. We, he, he came out. He preached. Got my brother right here. Let me look at the, the Francesco. Oh yeah. Got my brother and sister from the states. They came out. We preached. We didn't get arrested. Get me in here.